Satellite imagery allows us to see a bird's eye perspective of the Earth. It is a unique perspective because things look much different from up above. So join me as we take a look at 15 crazy and amazing satellite images. Number 15. Russian Troop Movements while Russia may be attempting to conceal their troop movements and military buildup in various areas, one thing that will always reveal the truth are satellite images. After all, there's very little you can do to prevent a satellite from taking an image from high in the sky. And when it comes to Russian aggression against Ukraine, the before pics and current pics are something that's very well documented. You see, before the war began, images began to be circulated showing increased military buildup, with this including new deployments and equipment in Crimea, Belarus, and eastern Russia. Once the war began, these satellites began to document the destruction, showing the Russian advance from a horrific viewpoint that documented the destruction of apartments, farmers, fields, and other infrastructure. Yet while all of this is public, there are now top secret images being taken that document Russian troop movements, and it's said these images have been sent to Ukrainian high command to help create military strategies against the Russians. Number 14. An island in a lake on an island in a lake on an island. While having an island in a lake on an island in a lake on an island may sound like a hard feat to accomplish, there are in fact several of these around the world. But the largest on record is the one that was found only with the help of satellite images. You see, it's located on Victoria Island in the northern Canadian province of Nunavut, and is so remote that it's more than likely that not a single human has ever set foot on it. In any case, the island in question is small, but in the case of islands in lakes in lakes on an island, it has a relatively large size of 1.6 hectares, making it quite an impressive little island. Number 13. The Boneyard Throughout its lifetime, the U.S. military has gone through a lot of planes, yet due to their high-tech features, it's imperative that these planes aren't just dumped anywhere. Instead, they're interred inside the Boneyard. Located at the Davis Monathan Air Force Base in Tucson, Arizona, it's a 1,000-hectare cemetery of steel that houses virtually every decommissioned plane that the military has flown since World War II. With these, including the impressive B-52 Stratofortresses and F-14 Tomcats in various stages of decay. And while it's completely off-limits to the public, with the help of Google Earth satellites, it can now be viewed by anyone. Number 12. Wild Elephants now, generally speaking, it can be very hard to get good footage of wild animals. After all, these animals aren't exactly looking for human interaction, and oftentimes animal photographers will camp out for hours on end to get the perfect photo. However, satellites don't have those challenges, and as a result, ones with high-resolution cameras can often get some incredible photographs. And while there are many that I think are deserving of a spot on this list, I'd say that one of the cooler ones is a herd of African elephants running through the bush that was captured in Chad. And if you want to see them for yourself, simply type 10.903497 north and 19.93229 east into Google Earth. Number 11. Blood Lake Iraq has been home to lots of conflicts in recent years, yet one of the most shocking satellite images to come out of the country is a picture of a lake that's known by many as the Blood Lake. It's located just outside of Sadiq City in Iraq. It's a red lake surrounded by non-red lakes, and many have thought that nearby slaughterhouses and local butchers dump so much blood inside the lake that it now has that red color. However, the amount of blood that would be required would not only be massive, but it would also make the lake have a brown rather than red tinge. And so many have proposed a less gruesome solution. More specifically, there are theories that the red color is the result of chemical pollution, while others believe that large increases in salt levels could have caused the color changes. However, to date, it's not entirely clear why the lake looks the way it does. Number 10. Strange White Lines China's Gobi Desert is a pretty big place, yet one of the strangest things to have been caught on satellite camera here is a mass of white lines. Looking a lot like lightning strikes, conspiracy theorists have gone wild with the ideas of what they could be, but experts seem to believe that the site is in fact a satellite calibration center. According to Jonathan Hill, who's a research technician and a mission planner at the Mars Space Flight Facility at Arizona State University, they likely receive radar signals from fighter jets and other military aircraft. Once they receive it, they test how large the radar signature is. 
Using this data, China's radar experts learn how best to hide China's military operations from other countries' satellites. And at the same time, this gives them clues for how to detect radar-obscuring technology used by other countries. So as the Chinese military continues to develop its forces, I wouldn't be surprised if these strange white satellite calibration lines became increasingly important. Number 9. The Looted City while Syria may now be best known for its violent civil war, in ancient times it was a vital part of many ancient empires, and of all the ancient cities in the country, Apamia was easily one of the most important. Administered by both the ancient Greeks and the ancient Romans, it had a variety of dwellings, a two-kilometer long row of Roman columns, and a theater with seating capacity for 20,000, making it a pretty impressive sight. However, after the Syrian civil war broke out, the area began to be looted for its ancient treasures, and the results were absolutely devastating. This is because Google Earth images have revealed that the entire ancient Roman city has been pockmarked with holes dug by looters since the start of the civil war. And it's gotten so bad that the surface area of the looted part is greater than the surface area of the non-looted parts. So, Apamia stands as a testament to what can happen when complete anarchy happens around an ancient site. Number 8. Desert Breath At first glance, Desert Breath looks like something from outer space. It's located near the Red Sea in Egypt, and it consists of perfect spirals spread across an area of about 10 acres, and consists of a spiral in one direction that's made up of 89 cones, and another in another direction made up of 89 cone-shaped depressions with a lake in the middle being the midpoint of the two. However, despite its strange looks, it is in fact a human-made art project and was completed in 1997 after years of construction by Greek sculptor Dene Stratou, industrial designer Alexandra Stratou, and architect Stella Constantinides. The idea behind this work is that it's meant to celebrate the desert as a state of mind and a landscape of the mind, and over time it's been designed to eventually fade away and back into the desert landscape through the process of erosion. However, to this day, only the lake in the middle has evaporated, and as such it's still standing strong and providing us with very interesting looking satellite images. Number 7. The Nazca Lines while there are many ancient carvings out there, few are quite as mysterious as the Nazca Lines. It's located on the Peruvian coastal plain about 400 kilometers south of Lima, Peru. They span an incredible length of over 1,300 kilometers and an area of about 50 square kilometers, and their origin story is nothing short of incredible. Made about 2,000 years ago, they are large, elaborate etchings of zoomorphic designs such as birds, fish, lizards, dogs, trees, flowers, and humans, with the majority being etched into the rock at a depth between 10 to 15 centimeters. Now, what's perhaps most fascinating about them is that they can only be fully seen by air, which is odd considering the fact that the indigenous people who made them have no way of actually seeing them. And as such, there's wild speculation as to what their purpose was, and it appears they most likely had some sort of astronomical or religious significance, with most believing that they were made so they could be seen by deities located in the sky. Regardless, despite all the hypotheses out there, no one knows for certain what their true purpose really was. Number 6. Noctilucent Clouds now, generally speaking, few people get all that excited by clouds. However, the noctilucent clouds that sometimes form over the North Pole are nothing if not incredible. Taken on June 12, 2019, this satellite picture depicts the unusual streaks of clouds that form high in the atmosphere after sundown. Typically only forming in the spring and early summer, their name roughly translates from Latin into night shining. And this is because they essentially act like natural night lights in the sky. Now, in order to create the incredible image seen here, these NASA scientists involved used an instrument that measures albedo, or in other words, the amount of sunlight reflected back into space from Earth. In this picture, noctilucent clouds appear in various shades of light blue to white, depending on the density of ice particles in the air. And in order to create an accurate image, the picture had to be stitched together from different satellite passes. Thus, while it certainly took some effort to create, I'd say it was definitely worth it. As an interesting side note, it's worth mentioning that these noctilucent clouds have actually been appearing in lower latitudes over the past few years. The reason behind this seems to be that the atmosphere has been altered thanks to a bit of climate change, and there's now more water vapor than there was previously. So as the Earth continues to warm, these clouds may become quite common much farther south. Number 5. Mapvertising 
You've seen ads on billboards, televisions, and unless you have premium on this YouTube video. But did you know that there are even some on Google Maps? Known as mapvertisements, these are essentially massive ads that are so large that they can only be seen from outer space. The trend first began back in 1965 when the Australian concrete company ReadyMix created one, and in later years other countries began to also take part. For example, in 1986, Coca-Cola constructed a massive Coca-Cola logo in the desert near Arica, Chile. Measuring the size of a football field, it was originally built to commemorate Coca-Cola's 100th anniversary, and in 2011 it even got a facelift in order to officially mark the soft drink's 125th year on the market. Then, in 2006, KFC made headlines when they used a total of 65,000 one-foot square tiles that were laid out in Nevada's Mojave Desert, creating a very colorful display in the process. From time to time, companies will make map advertisements that only meant to be temporary, with one of the most notable cases of this happening in 2006, when the famous magazine Maxim heated up the Mojave Desert with a magazine cover featuring Eva Longoria taking a crew of nine workers 15 hours to secure. It was made of vinyl mesh material that measured in at 23 by 34 meters. And although it was impressive, it was taken down not long after being put up. Number four, the Great Bahama Bank. When it comes to tropical vacation destinations, few places are as well loved as the Bahamas. It's home to sandy beaches, world-class resorts, and amazing island attractions. There's little not to like, yet by far one of the most underrated parts of the country is the Great Bahama Bank. In essence, it's a series of carbonate platforms that take up most of the Bahamas archipelago, and their origins date back to ancient ice ages. More specifically, between the ice ages, the bank was dry land, but as sea levels rose, it slowly sank until it got to the point that it's now between 2 and 25 meters underwater. The bank itself is a combination of both white carbonate sand and limestone, derived from the skeletal fragments of corals, and as seen in this satellite image taken by NASA, the constant underwater currents there have given the bank a wave-shaped ripple pattern. Thanks to the sand and seagrass being present at various depths, the image sports a range of blues and greens, making it truly beautiful to look at. Now, what's interesting about this satellite photo is that it's far more than just a pretty picture. That's because it was taken as part of a satellite program that has the goal of tracking the world's oceans. The idea is that a special set of satellites will be able to map and monitor the world's coral reef systems, which in turn will allow marine scientists to use satellite images and maps in tandem with sea surface temperature data to identify an area that may be at risk of coral bleaching, rising water levels, and other environmental damage. So I hope that NASA continues to take these beautiful yet useful pictures far into the future. Number 3. North Korean Prisoner Camps Found across North Korea, there are believed to be at least four political prisoner camps and 14 re-education camps in the country, with both serving different purposes. The political prisons are the more severe of the two, and are reserved for those accused of either political offenses or denounced as politically unreliable. In the past, these prisoners would have three generations of their families interned with them as part of the alleged family responsibility principle. And while this has virtually been abandoned today, these prisons are still absolutely brutal. That's because prisoners are used as slave laborers in the agricultural and mining sectors, are housed in horrible conditions, and are given meager rations that keep them on the brink of starvation. About 40% of the prisoners eventually die of malnutrition, while an unknown number dies of ailments such as illness, accident, and frostbite. Generally speaking, political prisoners are kept in prison for life, and as a result, their existence becomes absolutely miserable. When it comes to verifying these claims, satellite images have been very useful, as they validated claims made by oral accounts. One striking example of this is at Camp No. 25, where we can see that not only are mines and agricultural areas on site, but a crematorium to do away with dead bodies, and walled compounds to keep the prisoners in. When it comes to re-education camps, the conditions are supposedly a little bit better, and the prison terms typically aren't for life. However, considering that North Korea has a horrible human rights record, I'm nearly certain that the conditions at even these less awful camps are far from humane. Number 2. The Uyghur Concentration Camps China has been systematically destroying Uyghur society through both a cultural and literal genocide for years, but it's only been recently that satellite images of the camps have become publicly available. 
For those of you who don't know, the Uyghur Muslims are an ethnic group that primarily lives in the northwestern province of Xinjiang, and they have a total population of about 13 million if Chinese government figures are to be believed. For years, this place was considered to be an autonomous region of China that had marginally more autonomy than many other regions, but ever since 2014, the Chinese government has tried to assimilate the Uyghurs into the Han majority. This first began with ramping up police surveillance in the area under the guise of preventing religious terrorism that was in reality near non-existent. The result of this was the regulation or banning of Muslim practices such as growing a beard, having a prayer rug, or quitting smoking and drinking. This eventually ramped up into the introduction of the so-called re-education camps. While it has been claimed that these are supposed to de-radicalize ethnic Uyghurs, the reality is there isn't anything to de-radicalize, and instead these camps are simply propaganda machines for the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP. Generally speaking, a day in the life of a detainee includes doing things such as singing hymns, praising the CCP, writing so-called self-criticism essays, and being subjected to physical and verbal abuse. Beyond this indoctrination, the prisoners are also often forced to work as slave laborers on local cotton farms, which has led to a massive international boycott of companies that use that cotton. And when you further consider that more than one million people may be imprisoned at these camps, it becomes clear that it's a massive problem. The Chinese government has been both denying and mitigating the true nature of these camps for years, but satellite footage shows they not only exist, but have several disturbing features. And be it fields for laborers to till, or massive buildings for inmates to be kept in, it has become clear that this genocide isn't something to be ignored. Number 1. Area 51 of all the entries on this list, none are quite as famous as Area 51, the subject of countless conspiracy theories. Many believe that the site is where the U.S. houses aliens from outer space. And the rumors about this first began all the way back in the 1950s. Now, the official story is that during this time period, the U.S. government began to use the compound to test out its newest aircraft. Since the area is about the size of Connecticut, it gave testers a lot of land to work with. And since these new aircraft had very weird shapes and kind of looked a lot like a UFO might, people began to create conspiracy theories. However, rather than just tell people that the aircraft were not UFOs, the U.S. government supposedly played along with these suspicions in order to distract from the real purpose of the base, which to this day is still classified information. And while many have speculated that it was simply a secret air base throughout the Cold War, its use today is a lot less clear. In terms of the current satellite images, they don't tell us much. While it's still clear that the compound is quite large, there's not much info as to what's located there, and all of the more in-depth satellite pictures tend to be on the blurry side. So therefore, we may never know exactly what the base is currently used for. And as an interesting side note, it should also be noted that this is one of the few entries on this list that was almost invaded by civilians. You see, back in July of 2019, more than 2 million people responded to a Facebook post calling for an army of the people to storm Area 51. And while the whole thing was supposed to be a joke, the United States Air Force took it a little more seriously, with Air Force spokeswoman Laura McAndrews warning the public that, quote, the U.S. Air Force always stands ready to protect America and its assets, end quote. However, due to the fact that only between 1,500 and 3,000 people actually ended up showing up, the threat was far less serious than it appeared to be, making the whole thing more of a funny side note and less of a massive security threat. Watch our obscure playlist for more top 15 videos about the more obscure subjects in our world. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best and most obscure videos.